So uh, branch line coupler could be of many form like this is a branch line coupler this is also a branch line coupler difference between these two is it is of two stub it is of three stub uh, three stub you can experiment with it but uh, for now we will see only two stub only the difference between these two is in three stub we can increase the bandwidth of our increase the bandwidth of our uh, VLC how uh, this is a long discussion topic but uh, I am not going through it you can if you are interested you can search Google anytime no issue so what we will do we will uh, do analysis for this two port network sorry not two port network extremely sorry for this two star VLC so this is our objective to design this VLC you might have uh, seen this type of structure in our slide one where i am showing you how i have fabricated it hmm, right so see we have many variables here one variable is yoa another variable is yob another is theta another is yoa you might be confusing like what these are here these are actually uh, denoting your characteristics and uh, admittance listen my word it is characteristics admittance not impedance it is admittance because y is showing with y perfect so uh, because uh, if you design anything in your micro strip layout then our main objective is to decide on the w of our micro strip line first work and w of your micro strip line is directly proportional to the uh, your characteristic impedance not directly actually uh, it is uh, inversely proportional to more the characteristic impedance less the w hmm. so we want uh, characteristic impedance always so here we are uh, dealing with yoa or admittance because of some mathematical reason because in uh, when we want to derive the equation then our admittance formula is the mathematic mathematical task but for you just you remember that yoa is nothing but it is showing you the characteristic admittance of this line y o b showing the same for this and these two line these two line are similar and these two line are similar y o 0 this is your reference impedance like in micro strip line it was 50 so if in the question they have not said anything then this should be 1 by 50 always for this line for this line for this line and for this line something additional is here we are also you know like fixing the length of this branch and length of this branch this thing we have not done in our micro strip line design but here length is very impo important because if you change the length your answer will get changed and this should be uh, theta equal to beta l and uh, what is the value of it i'll disclose this it little later okay and length of this this and this leg you can take anything no issue it's just to connect it to the four port of your measurement so let's go to the next slide we have few design equations how these design equations are, are coming there are mathematical ex, uh, explanation and i am going to those things later but first let's see what are the design equation first design equation is this we know what is y zero it is always 1 by 50 if nothing is mentioned but generally people never mention you need to assume it that y0 is 1 by 50 always we don't know these two things okay we have another design equation this is s21 s21 should be of this then we have s31 uh, these are three design equation here how many unknown are there one two uh, three and four perfect but actually these two are interdependent like if you know one you can derive an another one there are some uh, there are there is one formula i'll uh, tell you that about later so actually we have another equation also and this is not a design equation that's why i have not written it here so we have four unknown four equation we can derive each and every value and then we can design it for our simulation purpose okay now few of you curious mind want to know how we are deriving this thing but to know this thing you need to do some uh, extra work and those are you need to know these prerequisites and they are as parameter many of you know many of you don't know you want abcd parameter hmm, many of you know we want this conversion formulas 
okay and lastly but not least and the most important thing you need to know even an order analysis and it is uh, in my uh, view little boring deriving it little bo 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 boring work and in this video you might get like you may sleep or you may skip so what i am doing because we want to simulate it fast so i am just skipping this derivation of design equation okay if you want uh, in some separate video i will make uh, some video on even an order analysis also like how we are getting those equation but for now we will just skip those things we'll just remember these three equation plus one equation it is coming in next slide those four equation and we'll uh, derive our vlc what say let's go to next so okay so let's do it uh, what we'll do uh, question is like this this to design 10 dB branch line coupler at center frequency 5 gigahertz now this 10 dB what does it mean this means your C your coupling factor they won't be saying you explicitly like our VLC should be having a coupling uh, coefficient of 10 dB you need to assume it like uh, this is the fact only this 10 dB is your C uh, here why uh, 5 gigahertz is coming like what is the use of frequency because you know our theta or our length of that uh, this uh, micro strip line or the segment of my our VLC should be equal to theta or equal to beta L or equal to 2 pi by lambda L and you you can see lambda is coming so that means dependency on frequency is there and as you know this is in electrical form and in the electrical form electrical length keep on changing according to your frequency so we need to know what is the frequency for which frequency we are designing it hmm. so what we have we have c we have derived already c is our 10 dB like i told you na this 10 dB is nothing but your c we have three design equation what are they they are this this your design equation and plus we have another formula and this formula is coming from your lossless condition we will always assume that our vlc is lossless so wh how this formula is coming yeah i can derive this this is easy you have a box you are giving something some uh, power or signal or anything coming out of this port something is coming out of this port nothing is coming out of this port ideally so if you p1 is your power through this and this is p3 and this is p2 then from lossless condition p1 should be equal to p3 plus p2 right hmm. and p3 oh, what does it mean p3 means uh, uh, like uh, power this is absolute number like p3 i am getting it like 5 watt 6 watt but what is your uh, p like power in your uh, port 3 with respect to port 1 so we will write it in this form p3 by p1 uh, uh, in the last slide we have see it and this will be p uh, like p1 by p1 and this is p2 by p1 so this is equal to 1 and these are in s parameter form this is s31 magnitude square because it is in volt form so we want power so we need to get square plus s21 square and this should be one so that's why we are getting this formula hmm. so that means c we know what is our c and from c we can get s31 if we get s31 we can get s21 and if we get s21 then we know y0 we can get yoa and if we know yoa we can put it in this equation we can get yop and boom our result is in our front of us okay so let's uh, do few calculation but i am not wasting um, the time of this video with calculation so i have done those things you just uh, verify once with yourself okay so what we get for c equal to 10 we will get s31 equal to 0.3 uh, 0.316 one thing i need, uh, need to tell you explicitly let's see uh 
what is your s31 your s31 uh, no not s31 what is your c your c is equal to minus don't miss this minus you will just lose all your marks because of this minus so don't miss this minus minus 20 log and in bracket this mod is also important perfect so if you want s31 mod don't forget it and our c how much it is c c is given 10 db so it will be 10 to the power minus 1 by uh, 1 by 2 hmm and if you calculate it then you will get this s31 i just explicitly did this calculation just to show you the importance of minus if you don't put minus then you will get a plus here and your result will be root 10 but it is not root 10 it is 1 by root 10 so keep this in these things in your mind okay so let me wait so what we now want we want okay let it be no issue i think you can see another thing now we want s21 and we can use this formula and this from this formula we will get s21 s.949 just check yourself okay i am i think i'm right because i have done it earlier and uh, using this equation you will get zoa equal to 47 point zoa nothing but 1 by oa okay then zob 1 by yob hmm. so what does you need more we got everything actually we need nothing more and this is your design the, your, you got 47.5 you you are getting this this uh, uh, impedance for this two is 150 one thing is still left what is the l and i have said you uh, our theta because length because uh, electrical length always denoted by theta and theta is equal to your beta l beta we know it is 2 pi by lambda we don't know l and for us l should be always lambda by 4 for designing of this vlc this is also you can derive this also come during our odd and even analysis somewhere we assume like theta equal to 90 why theta equal to 90 c 2 pi by lambda and your l is lambda by 4 it is pi by 2 only so we just assume like our theta is 90 we want for 90 what is the result we can assume theta equal to 180 also then it will show something else hmm. but uh, we want to design it for theta equal to 90 so if you want theta equal to 90 then your l should be always lambda by 4 and as in equation it is 4 uh, 5 gigahertz so we need to design it for uh, 5 gigahertz okay and uh, So what we will do now, we will get a strip of micro strip line in our serenade, we will put frequency as 5 GHz, Z0 as 47.3 and other thing and we can simulate it. Okay. And after simulation we want to get some graph like this, don't be confused, see uh, this color is your S31 and S31 is your coupling coefficient like for for now just assume it is your 5 gigahertz then our st1 is coupling coefficient and we have designed for 10 db then at 5 this should be 10 db in minus form okay and uh, this red is s11 and red should be 0 s11 should be 0 in magnitude form so in db form it should be minus infinity so see red is going in infinity form but it will it won't be going to infinity it will meet meet somewhere uh, might be in minus 150 or maybe minus 180 no issue then this is black looking line it is s41 and your s41 is isolation we want isolation also in zero so that's why it is again coming in minus uh, minus infinity way okay and your blue one is your s21 and s21 uh, here it is in uh, magnitude form it is in some 9.9 something so in if you uh, do it in db so we need to get it here also in same way and if we get this plot in our serenade then everything is done we, we are successful so we'll meet in next video bye bye